have came up with a strategy that should define for us the journey of the future. And this is a strategy called uh, coders. Uh, those are the abbreviation of, uh, so C means it's connected, uh, O means it's open, uh, D it's delightful, E is efficient, R is responsive, and S is smart. And every uh, dimension of that uh, uh, strategy has a certain also uh, a number of uh, uh, innovation, a number of technology introduction, a number also of certain initiative that we have to fulfill. So on connected, we means that we have to be connected to the world. We have to um, adopt the latest in terms of connectivity. We believe, of course, connectivity in telecommunication is, is a vital uh, thing. This is our core uh, business, our core products that we provide to the end users. So connectivity, it's something that uh, we uh, are trying always to innovate and, and to, to adopt all the technologies that will um, enable faster connectivity, uh, reduce uh, latency, uh, provide uh, higher throughputs to the end user, etc. So maybe recently you know that uh, in UAE we have introduced the, the 5G and we are planning also to introduce it in, in Saudi Arabia and uh, the rest of the markets will, will follow. Um, uh, we also have not um, enabled uh, the NB-IoT, um, the, the LTE-M uh, and, and various other um, connectivity technology. And uh, um, the, the O, as I said, it's, uh, it's open. Um, that we have to embrace uh, uh, the, the, the partnership or the ecosystem or the partners, third parties, basically. Uh, so we try to expose our uh, API and assets to the uh, outside world. So we are open trying to embrace all third parties and build alliances and, and partnership that is necessary for us to move uh, forward. And then the delightful, which is the, the uh, it's all about customer experience. We, we are offering a service to the end users and this service has to be, uh, um, uh, has to be brought to the end user or provided to the end users with a specific level of experience. And we always innovate in that sector. So we are, um, uh, enabling or implementing technologies like the AI, like the big data analytics, uh, like the machine learning, uh, robotics, uh, all of these of things um, in order to provide a better experience to the uh, uh, end users. Uh, end users. Um, then of course is the E, efficiency is also a major pillar of our technology strategy. We believe that the business model itself of telecommunication is evolving and we have to keep pace with all of these uh, uh, revolution and evolution that happens in the industry. So it's necessary also to um, bring the technology or make the technology works in that direction. So, uh, so, so basically we are embracing or looking and exploring new business models of infrastructure sharing, uh, energy efficiency also plays a major role in our, uh, the architecture itself of the technology. How can we build more efficient architecture in terms of uh, resources um, and etc. So uh, this is the efficiency dimension. Then, then is the responsive, the responsive and the smart. Um, so we, we also part of our strategy is to build an architecture and the technology that are uh, responsive to uh, market dynamics. So we want um, our um, uh, technology network and IT to be very fast in uh, reacting on a, a specific uh, uh, market uh, demand or market requirement. And the smart at the end uh, is we wanted a network that has all of the capabilities of self-healing, 
um, self optimization so the network is smart that it can um, uh, it can adjust itself according to the customer uh, needs so the combination of the technologies uh, that we are talking about here which is the big data analytics the artificial intelligence the machine uh, learning robotics and the robots uh, itself all of those would be necessary to embark on a journey of digital transformation a lot of uh, industrial uh, players and, and a lot of stakeholders um, are very keen to start uh, the digital uh, transformation well, actually to be frank there are a number of industries have already started the journey of the digital transformation, uh, but the journey itself is not uh, is not short. It's it's uh, it's still a long journey that requires a number of uh, um, ev evolution, a number of transformation. The transformation is transforming the entire business to be more digital centric. Technology obviously helps in enabling the transformation, but it has to come also with a lot of different things like the processes, like the, the culture itself in the organizations, the operating model, the skill set in, in every organization, etc. We are witnessing now a new industrial revolution that requires a lot of uh, fundamental uh, technologies breakthrough. Uh, 5G is one, one of the major things. Digital transformation, it's actually positioned uh, also in the middle of that uh, fourth industrial revolution. So the combination of the technologies uh, that we are talking about here, which is the big data analytics, the artificial intelligence, the machine, uh, learning robotics and the robots uh, itself all of those would be necessary to embark on a journey of digital transformation mm -hmm.